going to demonstrate how to apply the hip grip to for lateral positioning, posterior approach, general principle is the patient is close to the surgeon. I always place the posterior pelvis support first, two posterior superior spines and sacrum. Adjust it to where the pad is just above the up side posterior superior spine and well centered over the sacrum so you get the three points of support. Small bar to keep the patient's pelvis towards you. The second support that I always place is the anterior pelvis support. Downside anterior superior spine symphysis pubis. Also, I'm going to use the angle bar so they have the appropriate positioning. Oftentimes, it's a regular bar. In very small patients, it's a large bar uh, to support the anterior pelvis. I center it over the bony landmarks, tighten the bar, slide it in, tighten the knob. I then use a large upright for the posterior chest, place it just below the apex of the scapular bones so that you support on the chest, not on the scapula. Anterior chest support goes just below the breasts and supports on the lower part of the sternum. Hopefully this will allow uh, you, the orthopedic surgeon, to uh, appropriately place your patient in a very uh, deliberate and uh, solid fashion on the operating table for your hip surgeries.